Hello friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to teach you step by step how to paint this really pretty starry night kind of Christmassy. I feel like it just feels wintry overall painting so let's jump right into it. I will be painting with my Emma Lefebvre craft demo brushes today. I will also be using a jar of water, a paper towel, these gold paints, which I will link down below, my watercolors, and some Canton watercolor paper. But let's get started on this painting. To start off this painting, I'm going to be using my size 12 round brush. I'm going to dip it in some water, and then I'm going to come over here to my palette and activate the colors that I already have. So for the background of today's painting, I'm going to be using this really dark, deep navy blue. So I'm going to take a little bit more of navy blue, add it to my palette. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of black to the corner of the navy blue over here, just so I have the darker version. Then I'm going to rinse out my brush and dab it on my paper towel and we can go ahead and get started. So for this particular painting, I like to get my brush, get it wet, and then I like to take the darker color of the navy blue and put it at the top. And I just like to kind of swatch it almost like you're swatching some colors and then drop in the color just so there's more pigment so it's darker might even make it a little bit darker adding a little bit more black and navy blue just dropping that in at the top because we're going to make it fade down the page then i'm going to dip my brush in my water and run it against the edge to get a lighter wash of that color and then I'm going to tap into that darker color up there to make it bleed a little bit more. And then we're going to really just drag that color down the page, get a little bit more water if you need it. And it just keeps getting lighter as you go down, just adding more water to wash it out. And there we go. We have a nice pretty fade down the paper. And then I like to rinse out my brush like always, clean it off on my paper towel. And then I'm just going to let that sit there for a moment because I'm going to let this completely dry before I come back to it because I'm gonna come back with, to it and paint on top with my gold paint, which I'll link down below for you guys because it is definitely one of my favorite things that I have added to my watercolor collection so far. And I really use it quite often as you can probably tell by the paint. But yeah, I'm going to wait for this to dry for a minute and then we'll come back and continue painting. All right, it is mostly dry now. I just have a little wet spot here and there from where there was extra paint kind of built up. But now I'm going to take my bigger brush just so it can hold some more water and activate these paints because I find that they work best when they have been activated beforehand. So I'm just going to do that real quick. And then I'm going to switch over to my smaller brush for the details on this painting. And I can start to activate the paint as you can see. And it really gets the pigment going. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to take my brush once I feel like I have a good amount of pigment on there. And we're going to start off by making the moon. And for this I like to do about a half circle shape or the letter C. And I just like to bring it nicely you can go slowly just to make sure that you like the shape that you're getting and bring it down and around kind of like that so there's kind of my outline and then i just like to slowly bring my brush up and drag on the paper it's kind of why it's shaking a bit so i apologize about that i like to bring it over a little bit more if i feel like it needs to be a little bit bigger and then I just like to smooth out all of my shapes just like that and make sure all my corners are nice and smooth. Okay, and then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take more of this pigment and drop it in there just so that it doesn't blend in as much and just really push it around so that it gives an even amount of color. I like to make this center part a little bit thicker, like that. 
And then I'm gonna drop some more color in. So that's it for the moon. And then I'm gonna take my brush in some more paint and I'm gonna go around making a bunch of cute little stars. So there's three different star designs that I like to do. One is this first one, which is just a simple cross and I like to make it small and big, just like that. And then the other one is simple, just little dots all over. Just kind of pop them all over the page. You can even put it on your brush and kind of flick it. I just don't want this paint to go everywhere right now, but you can do that. Or I take some paint and I don't want to make, I want to make sure I don't have too much on my brush, but I make a little star shape just like this. It's kind of two upside down V's connected. And then I fill it in and I can just add those wherever I feel like they would be cute or they're needed to fill up some space. And just like that, I have a cute little starry night moon background, which would be super cute to add a quote right here and pop it in a frame, add it to a card or bookmark. There's so many options with this. I would love to hear what you do with it in the comments. Also, today's question of the video is what is your favorite Christmas carol? If you like to listen to Christmas music, all that fun jazz in the comments. For me, my favorite Christmas carol is probably Deck the Halls or I'll Be Home for Christmas. I just think those are so fun and they're like iconic Christmas songs. And I love listening to Christmas music. I listen to it pretty much every day in this Christmas season and I love it. It just makes me so happy, but yeah, I'd love to hear what you guys like in the comments. I'm just going to continue adding little stars wherever I feel like they are needed on this painting. And I think this is just a cute, simple painting that a lot of people can do. I don't think it takes too much talent. It will take a little bit of patience if you're gonna do a lot of detailed stars, but still it's pretty simple lines that if you know your alphabet or all your letters, you'll probably be able to do because the moon is kind of just like a crescent shape it's a c and then your stars here are kind of just like the letter v so it's pretty simple overall just some practice and i think you'll be able to do it so i'm just going to continue adding these stars just a few more here and there and then it'll be finished Okay, there we are. I'm gonna wash out my brush and it is complete. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That would help me out so, so much. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on all of the fun holiday content coming up. I'm so, so excited for it. And if you know a friend who you think would enjoy painting this or just enjoy the video overall, please share it. It would help me so much and I would love to be able to spread the joy of making art and using your creativity to more people. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!